Well, during this time of year, giving back is so important, and that's why some businesses look to donate with every product they sell. It's our season of savings, and this morning our Allison Gormley has some holiday gift ideas that also give back. It's today's What's the Deal? <laughs> Giving isn't something Kelly McLaughlin saves for a season. I've lived in Indy almost my whole life. The more you keep digging, the more you find out there are so many needs here locally. To help meet those needs, she started Close with a Cause. It's a for-profit business that she said donates 100% of its profits to a different cause each month. My original idea was donate 10% of my profits to whoever we're trying to raise money for. So I ran this idea by my brother and he was like, love it, love your heart. I'm gonna be really blunt with you. 10% of profits don't go very far. He said when people like us are looking to fundraise, we're looking for checks with multiple zeros, not a zero. When her donation size grew, so did her business. What started as a clothing rack in her home turned into a clothing camper. And the clothing camper, well, that turned into two clothing stores, one in Carmel and the other on Mass Ave. There you can find gifts that give back too. There are socks that save the elephants, tumblers that promote positive change, and candles burning for a cause. The Bridgewater candle line that we sell, I won't sell any other candle line. For every candle you buy, they feed a child for three meals. McLaughlin said charities they've helped out include Gleaners Food Bank, Indiana Diaper Bank, Down Syndrome Indiana, and Cancer Support Community Indiana. We've provided support to single moms going through breast cancer treatment and they just don't have somebody to clean their house or mow their grass or things like that. I mean, those things are game changers for people. Game changers that hit close to home now. Months ago, McLaughlin was diagnosed with an aggressive brain tumor. If I can leave this place better than where I found it, and then I can instill that in my kids, okay, well then now that's four people. There was one person doing it, now that's four people doing it, and if they instill that in that, their kids, that's even more people carrying this out, and I think we can really make a difference showing generations to come, to never stop believing, and that it's about giving, not receiving. Hmm. Oh, wow. that's great. And she is leaving a big impact on sure this no world, kidding. no doubt.